The following profile details the important events of this mission using approximate times. Five, four, three, two, one, and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket. The Atlas V RD-180 main engine and one solid rocket booster ignite to lift the vehicle away from the pad. Shortly after liftoff, Atlas begins its initial pitch, yaw, and roll maneuvers to attain the proper ascent profile and minimize aerodynamic loads. The Atlas V reaches Mach 1, the speed of sound, at 58 seconds. At 1 minute 11 seconds, the vehicle experiences maximum dynamic pressure. Shortly after liftoff, the Atlas V is burning propellant at a rate of 2,750 pounds per second, traveling at over 10,400 miles per hour, and located 63 miles in altitude and 188 miles downrange. At 2 minutes 20 seconds into flight, the single solid rocket booster is jettisoned. One minute 43 seconds later, booster engine cutoff occurs. The booster stage is jettisoned six seconds later. Ten seconds after booster separation, the first Centaur main engine start takes place. The payload fairing is jettisoned eight seconds later. The vehicle now weighs just 8% of what it did at liftoff four and a half minutes earlier. Cutoff of the Centaur main engine occurs nearly 14 minutes after launch. The mission now enters a 10-minute coast phase. At just over 24 minutes, the Centaur main engine is restarted. This burn will last approximately five minutes. Following the second Centaur main engine cutoff at 29 minutes, 18 seconds, the mission enters a final 13 minute coast phase. At 42 and a half minutes, Centaur releases the fourth Sibbers geo satellite for the United States Air Force, providing early missile warning detection.